Today I have a message for my subscribers. So we all know that Corona has fucked up the release date of many games and has messed up my schedule a little bit. So I've just recently uh, worked out a new schedule that I'll be sharing with all of you now. So starting tonight I will be doing the Ninja Garden Master Collection series. If you're not already familiar with the series and you're a fan of samurai type games, in my opinion, Ninja Gaiden is the best samurai game ever made. Uh, personally, I grew up on the Xbox uh, Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, Black, but I never actually played the PlayStation 1, Sigma 1 and 2, and Master Collection includes Sigma 1 and 2 and Ninja Gaiden 2, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. And uh, if you don't already know about Ninja Gaiden, it is an amazing samurai game. Now, that will be starting tonight. And on the 17th of June, depending if I finished, uh, basically done with Ninja Gaiden, I will also be doing Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance. Uh, I will definitely be doing a less common game, which I think will be less uh, bought. I'm only going to be doing a little content on it. It is more for myself because there's nothing uh, in July and August that I really want to do. But I'll be doing The Ascent starting July 28th and I'll have a little bit of content for that game. And then on October 6th, assuming they don't push the game back once again, I will be doing Far Cry 6. And if it does get pushed back, I'll be doing Back for Blood. I really wanted to do them both, but I'm too much of a fan of the Far Cry series uh, to pick the Left 4 Dead over Far Cry. As much as I do love Left 4 Dead, um, I have to pick Far Cry over Left 4 Dead with them being so close to each other's release dates. If you don't already know about me, right now I'm only doing new games uh, content, so if the game wasn't just released and it's not new, new DLC, I'm just not doing it. Um, for December 7th, I will be now doing Dying Light 2, and also we'll still be doing the new master maps on Horde, uh, Horde Frenzy, new master maps, new, uh, Horde events. Won't be doing anything else with Gears until Gear 6. When Gear 6 is released, I definitely will be doing that. Um, we'll be doing new DLC for Outriders. I'm not sure if Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 is going to have new DLC or other games. Um, but I definitely will be doing Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. I'm probably skipping over the June 17th zombie map on COD. Uh, two reasons. One, it conflicts with my schedule for finishing Ninja Gaiden. And most likely I'm not even going to have time. I'm probably going to be starting Dark Alliance maybe a day or two late. So... I just don't have time to do the zombie map with all the competition. I mean, that content's just going to be put out ASAP by, like, so many people. So, I'm probably not doing that DLC, but potentially we'll be doing other new DLCs. And that is my current schedule for 2021. I know it's uh, significantly different than I started at the year because half the games I wanted to do this year are now pushed back to to be announced like they're not even being released in 2021 so I just wanted to share with everyone all my subscribers my current schedule for 2021 and I do still plan to do Dragon Age uh, for uh, the new Batman a bunch of other ones uh, when they actually do have release dates uh, gonna be trying to do as many of those as possible but uh, at the moment, this is my current schedule for 2021. It may change depending if other games are moved forward or pushed back, but this is my current schedule.